very extreme values, okay, maybe very far to the left or very far to the right, but when we say away from the rest of the data, it's really away from what? The middle, right? It's, it's way away from the middle. And so an outlier is a piece of data that's very far from the middle. Well, how far can be qualified an outlier? Well, let's go back to the slide on the empirical rule. The empirical rule that it looked like our data worked for. Says how much of the data should be within three standard deviations to the right and two standard deviations to the left. 99.7% of the data should lie between three standard deviations to the left and three to the right. That makes sense to everybody? That's okay. And ours, it looks like ours does a pretty good job of following the empirical rule. And so we use that to kind of define an outlier. If you're not part of 99.7% of the data, you're an outlier. A really rare occurrence. That's an extreme case. If you can't find a home between here and here where 99.7% of the data is supposed to be, you're an outlier. So what makes you an outlier? Well, you create something called a z-score. And the z-score is pretty simply calculated. You take the piece of data, which is x, the observation, I subtract off the mean, which in our case is x bar. I'm jumping to the very end of the slide because you want to do this and then talk about the box plot. I take a piece of data. I subtract the mean, and in our case, x bar. If I knew what the population mean was, that would be mu. But the sample mean, which is what we're working with, from a sample is x bar. So I subtract off x bar, and I say, divide by the sample standard deviation. That's how many standard deviations away I am from the middle. So let's look at our z-scores for every piece of data. Well, the most interesting pieces of data for us are the ones that are the farthest out to the left and the farthest out to the right. So we know 61 is our lowest piece of data. So what's the z-score for 61? Well, it's 61 minus 81. 9 divided by our standard deviation, which is 9.23, and that equals negative something or other, but if somebody can give me that number, I think it's going to be negative 2 point something. <coughs> negative 2.26. 2 mm -hmm. All right, so that's negative 2.26. Does that qualify as an outlier? No, it would have to be three standard deviations away, right? A score would have to be negative three or plus three. Go back to the empirical rule. It says it's three standard deviations, one, two, three. I could even figure out this bound out there. But it's not three standard deviations to the left. It's one, two to the left. And the z score we got was negative, which means to the left, but 2.26. And it kind of looks like that, right? I mean, my, my drawing is not really terrific piece of scale, but here's one standard deviation, two standard deviations, and 61 lies between 2 and 3 to the left, negative 2.26. Does somebody tell me the z-score for 104? What's the z-score <coughs> for 104? Is it an outlier? No. no. It doesn't look like it. What's the z-score? 2 point what? 2 point 4? Okay. Z score equals 2 point 4. So 
let's just for example purposes, let's say there's a you know Black Friday. Everybody's got to go shopping. So the day before Black Friday, there's a run on the ATM machine. And we have an observation. Now I know we don't. I'm making this up. But let's say we had an observation of uh, out here at uh, let's say 130. Would that be an outlier? What would its z-score be? What's a z-score for 130? What is it? 5.21, 5.21, that would be an outlier. It would be plus or minus 3 from the mean, either to the left or to the right. Does that make sense to everybody? No, I do some thorough browse of that throughout the world. That means that it doesn't lie within 99.7% of the data. It's weird. Highly unusual. It demands investigation. If you have a piece of data like that, it's not like it's bad data. You would just say, whoa, what happened? I need to go figure out why that piece of data is like that. Outliers are actually great clues when you're thinking about data. Maybe, again, that happens to be the day before Black Friday. Everybody goes to the ATM machine and stock up on some cash. Maybe that's the explanation. And you treat outliers as kind of an unusual event. But you investigate. Questions? They're not bad people. They're just great clues. Uh, okay. So outliers are what? A Z score of higher than, well, the absolute value, literally speaking, the absolute value of the Z score has got to be greater than three, which means, you know, more to the left, you're beyond negative three, or you're more to the right, you're above three. That would indicate an outlier. Uh, okay, questions on our data. Anybody questions? Did we cover all the boxes here? Average of little percentiles is 5.21. 